Do you ever get asked the dreaded what's for dinner mom question and have absolutely no idea what you're going to make? Well, I have four extremely delicious and super simple freezer to crock pot meals for you to try. The prep time for each of these meals only took about 10 minutes maybe so it was super simple i just have a freezer bag and i'm going to put all my ingredients in no cooking time required for this first one i am just using this pork sirloin tip roast that i got from costco it comes with a bunch of three and it's super affordable but you can get yours wherever and then some salsa verde i just throw the whole can in there one fourth a teaspoon of crushed red peppers one teaspoon of cumin and then i just sprinkled in some carne asada you don't have to but i added it to mine then i'm going to dice up one medium onion i am using a white onion but you can use yellow if you would like next i'm going to chop up three cloves of garlic to put in as well Once everything is in the bag, I just pull it out and I just kind of use my fingers to spread it all over, get it all over the meat. And then I'm just going to write what it is on the bag and throw it in the freezer. Now that it's time to cook it, I did defrost it overnight and now I'm just going to spray the inside of my crock pot with some cooking spray and then I'm just going to dump the entire bag in the crock pot, put it on low and cook for about five hours. If you didn't want to freeze any of these, obviously you can just throw them all in the crock pot right away. These are super easy dump and go crock pot meals. Guys, this meat was so easy to pull apart. It just kind of fell apart. It was so tender and delicious. So I'm just gonna shred the meat and then just stir it all together so that the green verde is just all over the pork meat. Now for this video, I didn't only want to share how I put everything in a bag and put in my freezer. I actually want to share how I cooked it and everything too and what I ate it with. So I'm using this ready rice, super simple. You throw it in the microwave for 90 seconds and it's cooked. It might be cheating, but I'll take it on a busy football practice type day. Then I'm just going to heat up these refried beans which go really well with this meal. All right, so here is my meat. I just have some toppings. So I have some cheese, some diced tomatoes, some cilantro, lettuce, sliced limes, cause I like lime juice on mine. And I have street tacos with the refried beans and the rice. And oh my goodness, this meal was so simple yet ridiculously tasty. Beef stew is one of my all time favorites, so I wanted to add that to this video. I just have some stew meat, some red potatoes, some sliced carrots, you can use baby carrots if you would like. I have a one onion and a package of onion soup mix, au jus gravy. I will be using three tablespoons of brown gravy. And then I will be using two teaspoons of garlic salt, two teaspoons of garlic pepper, and then one teaspoon of salt and pepper. Now you know the size of your family, so if you wanted to add less veggies or less meat, then definitely make it how it works for you. We have a family of six here, so I make quite a bit of food. I am just going to cut these red potatoes in half. I just got these little company red potatoes, but you can get any kind and you can cut it in half or you can not, whichever one you wanna do. Then I will be just throwing them in the bag along with the carrots 
and then I will be slicing an onion to throw in the bag as well. On top of all of that, I will be adding all of the other items, the gravy and the seasonings and all of that yummy stuff. Once you're all done, you just close up the bag, write the name beef stew on it. You can put the date because you will want to make it within three months of putting it in your freezer. Another thing that I like to do if I need to remember, I don't have the recipes written down somewhere, is just write down the cook time. So it makes it super easy when you pull it out of the freezer, you know exactly how long to cook it for. For cooking time, I am just going to spray the crock pot. I've just noticed it is so much easier to clean it whenever I spray it first. I'm just going to dump all the ingredients in, then I am going to pour in the water. I like to put it kind of to the top of the meat just so that everything is in the water so that it can get cooked evenly and all of the seasoning can be spread throughout the stew. I like to cook this for about six to eight hours just because it seems like the longer you cook it, the more flavorful it will be. You can also cook it on high for about three to four hours. I like to eat mine on top of some white rice. A roll or some cornbread or something to go on the side is always nice as well. But I like to sprinkle cheese on top of mine because I just love cheese. So oh, I just love beef stew. It is so delicious. So my next meal is going to be honey sriracha chicken, which was also super amazing. This was actually the first time I tried it and it was delicious. So I am just going to add two pounds or about two pounds of boneless skinless chicken breasts. You can use thighs if you prefer because sometimes the breasts seem to dry out a bit. Then I will be adding one tablespoon of minced garlic or you can use like three or four cloves of garlic if you want to do it that way. I just made it simple. Then I'm going to add two tablespoons of honey. Then you will add two tablespoons of sriracha. Now I thought it was going to be a bit spicy because sriracha is kind of spicy, but it really wasn't. It was the perfect flavor. So if you think it's gonna be spicy, it's not, it's delicious. I like spicy, so I would have been fine with it. Next you will add a third of a cup of soy sauce. Then I just sprinkled in some salt and pepper. That's it, no cook time, no nothing. You just throw everything in the bag, you mix it all up, write down what this is, put the date on it, and then throw it in the freezer. For cook time, I just sprayed the inside of the crock pot and I dumped it in and cooked it for about four hours on low. I was going to cook it for five hours, but it was actually ready at four. After it was done being cooked, I went ahead and shredded it and just stirred it all together to get all the liquid up in the shredded meat. And then I just served it over some lettuce with some rice inside. It was so good. You can honestly make it any way you want to. This is just how I ate it and it was delicious. All right, for this meal, it's going to be Asian lettuce wraps. However, I did not eat it the exact same like I did the last meal. I did it differently because I didn't want it to be the same way. Anyways, I am just using one red bell pepper, and then I have two large carrots that I am shredding up. I have two pounds of ground turkey. You can use ground chicken or even ground beef, but I prefer the turkey. So I am just going to dump in the shredded carrots and the bell pepper. 
Then I will be adding one tablespoon of the minced garlic, which you can also just chop your own garlic if you want to. I have one third a cup of ketchup, one third a cup of soy sauce, and one fourth of a teaspoon of crushed red peppers. You can also add one tablespoon of honey, but because my husband is eating keto right now, I didn't want to add the extra sugar, so I kept it more keto type friendly. Now, for some reason, I just thought it was weird to put the raw ground turkey in the crock pot, but it cooked perfectly. I just cooked it on low for four hours and it came out perfectly. Oh, this was so good. You can put it on a lettuce wrap with some rice if you want to. I am just using this 10 minute boil in a bag rice because it's just easy and it always cooks perfectly. And I have a side salad that I am eating with it with some ranch and some cheese. And my husband Lee just used some cauliflower and ground that up and just used that. He just made it all cheesy, cauliflower-like, so it was keto-friendly for him. And he also had a side salad. I will have all four of these recipes listed down below in case you are interested in trying any of them. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a like and a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. We'll talk to you guys in the next video.